Oh, look. Oh, yeah. It's old Buckingham Palace there, look. I mean, what happened? Why ain't I plotted up there? Tongue in a princess. Hey? But no, I ended up on a set of swings in Canning Town. I was bowled over when I found out I was related to royalty on Who Do You Think You Are? Can't be. And I will remind people every opportunity that this man here, King Edward III, is my 22 times great-grandfather, direct descendant, right down to little old me. Everyone else sort of, you know, historians, professors know about all my family, my family, my blood, but I don't. And um, I think when you've got a, a, a family tree like mine, you've got to go and explore it more. It wasn't enough on who do you think you are. I want to, I want to indulge in it. I want to, I want to, I want to smell it and drink it and taste it. I want to, I want to really feel what it would be to be royal. So I've taken my tree off the wall, and I'm going to take it to go and see a geezer called Anthony, a royal commentator, no doubt. I'm going to ask him to push me in a certain direction to start this incredible, if not slightly insane, journey that I'm about to go on. Anthony. Danny, lovely to meet you. Good to see you. Uh, I mean, it's a nice gaff, don't get me wrong. Not the uh, Palace Lounge I had in mind. Not actually Buckingham Palace, but that's but just that's over the road. Listen, have a seat. Oh, lovely, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. It's a strong gaff. Oh. You brought your family tree with you? Yeah, it's a good yeah. bit of kit, that, isn't it? I, I do like to carry it around with me, you know, and just uh, <laughs> remind people, you know. So, you're obviously the man to come and see. Uh, should I be in line to the throne? I mean, is that cheeky? Well, of course, actually, yes, you are. I mean, in the terms of the royal line of succession, it doesn't stop with number 10 or number 20. It does go on into the hundreds and into the thousands, and you are there at some point in the royal line of succession. Of course I am. And it so happens. I've actually got... That family tree is nice. I like it. But it's not as good as this one, cos I've actually got something a bit better for you here. Oh, well, that's okay. your one, is so it? We go, yeah, we're going we're to we're we're trump that one, if you like. Um, oh, so, this, this should be good. Right, I'm going to need your help, actually, because, as with all these things, you need to unroll. Oh, it's a long one, is it? Right, if you'd like to take that end, Danny. Absolutely. So there is you, oh, there. Ah, right. yeah. But if you'd like go. to put that weight yep. on it, right. And then reveal the royal family tree of Danny Dyer, Mark II. Oh, OK, word. right, so it's been expanded. That was the basic one, that was Mark I. This is definitely Mark II. I've added some extra royals How on. How am I going to get a frame for this? Um, I suppose what I'd like to try and do is try and to feel more connected. Mm. So where would I begin? Well, I suggest we start right up at the top of the family tree with Rollo, who was a Viking, and not just any old Viking, but a, an incredibly accomplished Viking. The next person whose life you can explore is his descendant, William the Conqueror. Of course. William, who was Duke of Normandy. William the um, Conqueror. And the next one I thought would be interesting to look at would be William's great-grandson, Henry II, and his wife, Eleanor of Aquitaine. All these people were powerful and rich, but Henry II and Eleanor of Aquitaine between them, incredibly rich. Um, next would be Louis IX, very unusual king of France stood sexy, out amongst them. Sexy sounds them. sexy, doesn't he? Like a sexy man. Mm, possibly not quite that. Anyway, to make them a bit more human, I've got some pictures of your ancestors here. So I want you to take those with you on your journey. Oh, smudges, we call them. Smudges, OK. Yeah, well, you can take the smudges of your royal ancestors with you. So oh, you that's nice. Have a, a genuine image of what they Oh, look good. Like. I'll carry them with me. I'll protect them at all costs, even though they've all bowled over. <laughs> <laughs> What a man Anthony was, he's livened me right up. You know, I, I mean, I was happy with this, but now I've walked out, I've got scrolls coming out of my ear holes. So we're talking about uh, 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 Rollo, Vikings. I've got, I can't wait to get stuck into that. Yeah, bring it on. What a nutty journey this is going to be.